Welcome back to The Agenda. 2020 is looking to mark a major change in the world of cinema. And that's because it's expected to be the first year where China will overtake the USA as the world's largest market for films. Box office revenues in China are expected to leap to around $15.5 billion this year, while US receipts stick at around $12 billion. The rise of the middle class in China has had a massive impact. Their demand for cinema has seen around 25 new screens opening every day. There are now over 60,000 cinema screens in China, a third more than the 40,000 in the US and Canada. So what does this mean for the global film market? Well, in one sense, it's great news for the rest of the world's filmmakers. American and European directors now have a brand new market to attract and that can make a real difference. Let's look now at an example from last year. Angelina Jolie's latest sequel, Maleficent Mistress of Evil, opened to a disappointing $36 million in its first weekend in the US. That's 45% lower than the first film five years ago. But in China, it made $22.4 million that same weekend. So that's 15% higher than the previous film. It flopped in America, but the overseas market, led by China, saw the $185 million budgeted film more than break even, taking almost $500 million worldwide. But while China can save a US box office bomb, it may be a while before homegrown content resonates beyond China's borders. The highest grossing film in China last year was animated fantasy adventure Nu Jia. It made $715 million domestically. In the US, though, it made 99.5% less.